Today's lesson is on balanced equations. Your objective. Today I will write the missing number in an equation to balance both sides of the equal sign. Vocabulary you'll need to know today is equation, equivalent, equal, variable, and solve. You'll need a piece of paper and a pencil for the following activities. Are these scales balanced? No, they're not. This one is weighted down, which means it's lower, and this one is lighter, and is why it's higher up in the air. They're not balanced. This is a sample of scales that are balanced, or equal, in weight. See how they're level all the way across? That means this side weighs the same as this side. Look at these scales. This side has 10 marbles in it, and the right side has 8 marbles in it. Are they balanced? No. 10 is more than 8, which is why it is weighing down heavier. Now how could we balance these two scales? There's a few things we could do. We could add two more marbles to this side. So 8 plus 2 more would be 10. Or we could take one marble from the left side and add it to the right, then they would both have 9. Look at these scales. This one, has, the one on the left has 12, a weight of 12, and the one on the right has a weight of 6. What could we do to balance these scales? One of the things we could do is our goal is to make the right side equal to the 12. So what would we have to add to 6 to make it equal 12? If you said 6, you are correct. So 6 plus 6 is equal to 12. Now both sides of the scales are balanced. The equal sign means that both sides of the equation are equal in value. They are said to be balanced. Are both sides of the equal sign balanced in this equation? 5 equals 2 plus 3. If we take a look at 2 plus 3, draw lines down from the 2 and the 3, and we're going to put what it equals down below, and it equals 5. Now we have 5 is equal to 5, because 2 plus 3 equals 5. Are they balanced now? Yes, they are. 5 is the same as 5. Are both sides of the equation, or equal sign, equivalent? Equivalent means the same. 3 plus 7 is 10, and 10 is equal to 10. They are equivalent. Make both sides of the equation balanced by completing the problem. Pause the video and work this problem out on your paper. Okay, now that you're back, we're going to take a look at this. We want to, first of all, you need to make sure that you can um, take a look at the side that is missing. There is a variable missing, or there is a number missing on this side. The left side of the equal sign has a 2 plus 6. There's nothing missing. So we're going to deal with this side first. And I do want you to draw the lines down from each number. We bring them down to a point, so that shows that we are going to add those two, num two numbers together. So 6 plus 2, or 2 plus 6, is 8. And then we need to look at the other side of the equal sign. So what I'd like you guys to do is to do equals, and then you need to put what it equals. There's nothing else to add to it, so 2 plus 6 equals 8. Now, if we put the 8 up in here, both sides are balanced. 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. Again, this shows how we've solved that problem. Make sure and draw the line down from the 2 plus 6, and then it equals 8. Um, make both sides of the equation balanced by completing the following problem. Pause the video, do this on your piece of paper, and then when you're ready, you can come back. So copy down the problem. 15 equals 
10 plus some number. Pause the video. Okay, welcome back. Look at both sides of the equal sign. There's a 15 on the left side and a 10 plus something on the right side. Since we don't know what this number is at this point, it's missing. So what I would like you to do is bring down the 15 because we know that side equals and then I want you to draw the line from the 10 to the empty spot down to a point. That's where you're going to write your answer. And we need it to equal 15. So if you're coming back up to the problem, 10 plus what is going to equal 15? The reason we need it to equal 15 is because that's what the problem is telling us. 15 is equal to, it has to be the same weight as the right side. So 10 plus what equals 15? If you said 5, you are correct. 10 plus 5 equals 15 on the right side of the equal sign. And on the left side is the 15 we started with. So now they are balanced. 15 is equal to 15. This is walking through step by step. 15 is equal to 10 plus some number. Again, I want you to draw, I call them carrots, so you can see the symbol. We need to have this side equal 15. So 10 plus what equals 15? We said it was 5. So you bring down the left side of the equation and the equal sign, and 15 is equal to 15. So we balance those equations. This is the same problem, but instead of a blank spot, we have a B in the space. When you put a letter inside a problem, it's called a variable. And a variable means that this B, depending on where, what kind of problem it's in, it's going to vary in its value. In this case, we're going to do the same problem that we just got through doing. So bring down the 15. Sorry, I'm using my mouse today. Equals 15. So 15 equals 15. We need 10 plus B, which means some number is going to equal 15. Well, what I'd like you to do is you can cross out the B, and we know that it's 5, so you'll do the math. 10 plus 5 equals 15. We substituted the 5 for the B. So your answer is B is the same as, remember that equal sign means they have to be the same. B is the same as 5. So where you see a B in the problem, you're substituting a 5 for it. And a letter is called a variable. Solve for the variable. Go ahead and copy this problem down. 2 times 8 equals A. I do want you to do the A even though you might know the answer to this problem quickly. Pause the video. Do the caret like I've asked you to do. And then go ahead and when you're ready, push play. Okay, welcome back. The left side of the equation is totally there. There's nothing missing. The right side of the equal sign something's missing. So we're going to solve for the left side first. What is 2 times 8? You're right, 16. Now, we have to make this equal sign right here means that both sides of the equation have to equal the same number. Okay, so the left and the right have to equal 16. We solved the side that did not have any missing numbers first. That's how we knew that the right side also has to be equal 16. So we have one variable, the A. Since there's no other numbers, we know that A is the same as 16. So when we come over here, we're going to say A is the same as, that's what the equal sign means, 16. Here's a new one. Solve for the variable. Remember, the variable is the letter, the unknown number. You can pause the video, work the problem, and then push play. Okay, the left side is missing. The right side doesn't have any missing parts, but it's not just one single number. So let's figure out the answer. 3 times 4 is 12. Now this one, the missing number is on the left, so it's a little backwards. We know that 3 times 4 is 12, so we're going to work from right to left. 
and y has to be, since there's nothing else there, y also has to be 12 because our equation has to be equal. That's what the equal sign means. So there's no other numbers on this side, so that means y in this case has to be 12. We can check it. 3 times 4 is 12. That's correct. So y is the same thing as 12. Solve for the variable x. Go ahead and copy the problem. 2 plus 4 plus 2 equals 5 plus some number. This one's a little trickier. You can pause the video and then push play when you're ready. Okay, let's look at both sides of the equal sign. On the right side, we have a number missing. We don't know the value of that number. In order for us to find out the value of that number, we need to look at the left side. There aren't any variables on the left side. It's just numbers. So we need to find the total of these numbers. So do a caret from 4 plus 2 is 6. And then we're going to add the 2 down to that. And 6 plus 2 is 8. So if we finish our problem, 8, bring the equal sign down, is equal to 5 plus x. Now remember, this side has to be equal to 8 because the left was not missing any numbers. It didn't have any variables. So we figure out the value of this side. Remember our weights at the beginning. It's 8. And so the other side, in order for them to be equal, also has to be worth 8. 5 plus what number is going to give us 8? If you said 3, you are correct. 5 plus 3 is 8. So x, the variable x, is worth 3. Today, I wrote the missing number in an equation to balance both sides of the equal sign.